Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ron Friedman, and you know, he's uh, wrote a beautiful book. It's called The Best Places to Work, The Art and Science of Creating an Extraordinary Workplace. Uh, this is an amazing book because not only does it look into the science, it talks about how we can create great spaces to make people enjoy their work and become more produ pro productive. That's right. And I used to be a psychologist teaching at colleges and universities, and then I went off into the corporate world. And when, it was the, when I got there, that I realized there was a massive divide between what most organizations do from everything the way they hire to the way they motivate to the way they, they lay out the basic office um, that is uh, disconnected from the latest science. So I wrote The Best Place to Work as a means of giving everyone an inside look at what science has uncovered on how we can all work more effectively. You know, we often see studies about the best places to work, and we see Google that ranks right up there. They have little sleeping quarters and basketball courts. Uh, do you have to invest that much as a business order uh, to make that happen? Yeah, I don't think so. And I think, you know, obviously it's well-intentioned. It's great if you have a billion dollars and you're spending a fraction of that on your employees. But the reality is what people want from their everyday work experience is the same thing they want in every other domain in life, and that's to have their psychological needs fulfilled. So if you create a workplace where people can grow their competence, feel autonomous in the way that they do their work, and feel connected to their colleagues in a meaningful way, you're going to see far better returns than simply spending money on a basketball Court. And you also say in the book, uh, no employee of the month. That's, that's almost counterproductive, that's right. uh, rewarding somebody for being employee of the month. Why? Well, again, it's one, well intentioned. What we're trying to do is recognize an employee who's done well, but the trouble is it creates this false sense of competition between employees. So we have 100 employees here, for example. We might have one winner and 99 people who go off feeling like this month's effort wasn't recognized. So far better to create a culture where recognition just, doesn't just come from the manager, it comes from the top, it comes from fellow employees. Okay. The other part that you say about it is placement, where people are sitting. If they look outside a window, this is an amazing stat. Was it 33%? Just 32. 32 <laughs> percent that if they have the ability to look out a window that's how much better they'll be working yeah so daylight is healthy for us and that's not something that a lot of organizations consider so when we're around daylight our blood pressure is lowered it, we're, our body's producing more serotonin which puts us in a better mood and it's also producing more melatonin which allows us to sleep at night and so people who sit near a window are far more productive at work and if you don't have a chance to sit next to a window take a walking meeting is your if you're a manager encourage your employees to take walking meetings. You don't have to sit around in a, in a drab office all day. Yeah, get out, get out, get active. The one thing you need to do too, if you're a manager, even if you're just somebody that wants to be better at work, it's the best places to work. It's the art and science of creating an extraordinary workplace. Dr. Ron Freeman, thank you for joining us this My morning. Pleasure. The book's available on Amazon. More details right here on our website. Still to come after the break, we'll have an update on the forecast and a look at the 401 right now that does have some closures. That was great. All awesome. right. Thank you. Thank you.